everybody, Donna from Tarot Tarot. How you doing, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? I have a quick read, and it is going to be probably like five minutes, hopefully. So I just wanted to do a, um, what are they not telling you? What's going on? How are they feeling? You know, what are they up to right now? A little, little spine. Um, did some Oracle cards, too. So the Oracle cards, um, <laughs> they, these dogs were determined to be in the Aquarius read, the Capricorn read, and now the, the Sag read. That's fantastic. <laughs> okay, so from the Divine Energy Oracle, we have strengthen your gifts, love yourself, seek hidden treasure, raise your vibration. On the bottom of the deck, you have face your shadow. Someone's going to be facing something if they don't knock it off. So, Sag, face your shadow. Okay, so here we have um, we have the, um, the Gothic Tarot deck, the uh, Tarot of Vampires, the steampunk tarot deck, and then the uh, Radiant Wise Spirit tarot deck. So, for what are they not telling you? Oh, and uh, before I go into that, um, we do have two two cards. We have the Eight of Cups and the um, the Eight of Grails, which is the same thing as Cups. So, that shows, um, that's a Scorpio card, and it shows um, a walking away for something that's more uh, emotionally satisfying. It repeated in this read. Okay, so there's like, what, 16, technically 20 cards in this read, um, if you look at them all. And you have the uh, King and Queen of Wands. So the person that you've been dealing with might be a soulmate, you know, although there's all these debate about soulmates. What's a soulmate? You know, everybody you deal with is a soulmate, so I don't know, whatever. But um, what are they not telling you? You have the Knight of Wands, the Judgment card, the Two of Cups, the Empress, and on the bottom of the deck you have the Six of Pentacles. Which, Six of Pentacles is another, if you want to call it, soulmate card. So, this person, um, they're very passionate about you. Um, they are making a judgment call about, I, I know this is not what you're, you don't know. You don't know this. This is what you don't know. They're not telling you. Because there's a Two of Cups in here. You also have um, the Two of Swords. And then over here you got the Two of Pentacles. So, it's all about decision making for them. They're making decisions right now. Um, but they're, they're making a decision to love you and <laughs> the Empress card, they may see you as their Empress or they may be deciding to be that, that loving, deciding, making the decision, um, the judgment call to share love with you and, and be that, um, Empress type energy towards you because with the six of pentacles on the bottom of the deck, that shows, um, like a from the past, like a soulmate or, um, they're thinking, you know, with someone thinking of, um, fond memories, looking down memory lane, that kind of thing. So for, um, what did, how do they feel about you? I can't even read my handwriting. How do they feel about you? Um, from the, uh, Terror of the Vampires, you have the Eight of Grails, which is the Eight of Cups, the Lord of Skulls, which is the, like the King of Pentacles, uh, the Seven of Pentacles, which is like, over, you know, looking back over things, assessing things. And the two of knives. And then on the bottom of the deck, you have the eight of scepters, which is like the eight of wands, which is fast movement. I think uh, they, the way they feel about you, um, I mean, they're either, they're either walking away from you because they're, they're not happy. They're not, I think they're walking away from something else though. It says, how do they feel about you? But they feel like walking away from something not emotionally satisfying to be with you. Because um, they get the King of Pentacles too. So they feel like your st stability, like you have stability. Um, and they're looking over and assessing how far you've come. And then they get the Two of Knives. So, you know, that they feel about you, they feel like they're they're having to make it, they need to make a decision. Um, what will they do with you? So we have the Ten of Wands. <laughs> Um, the Death card, the Eight of Cups, and then the King of Wands. And then on the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Pentacles. Um, now that suggests maybe differently. Because the Ten of Wands is a, a, a card of burden. Either they're... It looks like they're going to take on what they may consider a burden. Or they're going to they're gonna take on that um, job, that work, that... Not that you're a job. How do I explain this? They're taking on that responsibility or the commitment. They're taking it on. 
Um, the death card means the end of old ways um, and renewed. They're new. Eight of Cups, again, walking away from something less fulfilling um, to be passionate with you. Um, cause they felt, they have felt left down to the cold in some way. So maybe you've been ignoring them. <laughs> I don't know. Have you been ignoring them? Maybe they gave you the silent treatment. You're like, I can show you silent treatment. <laughs> um, so what are they, um, up to right now? So you have the nine of pentacles, the king of cups, the queen of pentacles, the queen of wands. Only thing I like, I don't like about this is there's a lot of court cards, um, there's this, there's like a single hood and there's a king and two queens. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have the two of pentacles, like weighing options, possibly juggling. It's the only thing I don't like about this. So hopefully, Sag folks, you don't have a juggler who has um, more than one queen. Or if you're, um, you know, a male looking for a female and you're, you know, you're dealing with a female, hopefully... I don't know. Hopefully your female isn't with another female. I, I don't know. But there's too many court cards in here. I don't like that. Um, and the eight of grails, eight of cups, um, that walking away for something more fulfilling. I don't see anything in the oracle cards that suggests you need to um, um, deal with, you know, difficulty or disappointment or anything like that. So um, seek hidden treasure, raise your vibration. I, I don't know. So we're at six minutes already. I don't know how I got there. Okay, so there's that. And then um, we're going to do six cards. Oh, who, are we, who are we reading for next? So Libra. Um, so six cards, Donna's Destiny cards. Um, blind cards are like wild cards. It means anything is possible. All right, so let's see. And then we're going to do Libra next. Um, if you have Libra placements or you're dealing with a Libra, feel free to tune in. Be a cross watcher. All right, so stop being so stubborn. So maybe you have been giving them the silent trip. I don't know. Um, time for a new start. They can't be trusted. Pray more. You're getting a raise and a blank card, which is positive. It's like, you know, good things. So time for a new start. Um, pray more. You're getting a raise because they can't be trusted. And yeah, you're being stubborn, but they can't be trusted. All right, so too many court cards. Maybe that's what's going on. They're juggling. So maybe you should walk away. Maybe it should be you should be the eight of uh, cups and walk away from it. I, I don't know. You know your situation. So uh, Libra is next. Thank you so much, Sag, and I will talk to you soon. Love you.